Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode from the Multi-Tools and Blades channel. Today we have something a little bit different out of the Venga factory in Switzerland. It has a Venga Inox tank stamp, so it's dated probably around about the late 50s, early 60s. If you have a guess by now, it is in fact a cutlery set. So Venga have always made cutlery sets, just like their friends at Victorinox. They're just a lot less common than their little pocket knives that we all know and love. This was a civilian picnic set. It was not the military set that was issued alongside the soldier's knives. I will do a review of the military version at a later date. What I like about this set in particular is its influence from the normal pocket knives. So it's quite simple, you just rotate everything like this and then it just all comes apart in your hand. So the design is rather simple and it's quite unimpressive when you think about it, but once they're all apart you use them just like a normal knife and fork. But there is one very interesting difference that I can't actually show you. If you were to compare these to a normal knife and fork and spoon set from your kitchen, these are a lot heavier. About twice as much to be honest. I don't know what the chemical composition of them, they could have a lot less chromium in them as well. They don't look bigger but they definitely feel heavier. Once you finish using them, getting them back together is a pretty simple process as well. The fork goes in the spoon and then you just line up the notch with the pin. As you can expect with Venga, there's not much tolerance, so it's quite a tight little fit. And though by today's standard, there's quite a lot of different options out there for something like this, gimmicky, plasticky, things from China, etc. But if you go back to the 1950s and 60s, there wasn't really much of an option like this. While this is not the pride of my Venga collection, can certainly appreciate it for what it is and I hope that you do too. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll catch you next time.